sit in vajrasana so keep your hands open on the knees adapt chin mudra slowly look at the tip of your nose and slowly close your eyes inhale exhale normal inhalation exhalation observe your thoughts so basically you need to understand any thoughts can be from your past or from whatever you are imagining into the future right so the zoom account locked and all of these things you can just let it go so observe your current thoughts that you are having so just try to realize whether it's generated through the past or are you planning something to the future slowly each and every thought that you are getting to your head just shut them down one by one if you are thinking about what to cook what to eat who is waiting for breakfast till your session ends just shut down all those thoughts because for one hour you are not going to do anything about it whatever the noises that you hear don't try to process them let it be just noise and just shut them down every single thought observe and try to stop them take your mind away from them deepen the inhalation exhalation observe the cold air touching your tip of the nostrils and then through the nasal tract the air goes in you feel at the upper nasal region throat region just below the throat stomach comes in with the lungs getting filled with air stomach getting emptied and the air goes out observe your breath anjali mudra at the chest inhale ah om inhalation ah straighten your hands drop your head back 
exhale from the hip, move forward, spine is still erect. And then when you come down, take your forehead to the floor, pay your gratitude to Mother Earth. Inhale, come up. And then slowly rub your palms. Slowly keep at your face. Open your eyes with few blinks. Take your hands down and focus at your palms. Inhale, exhale. So, good morning, everyone. So, thanks for joining. Welcome to the program. So, for 18 days, we will basically learn advanced yoga courses. So, the importance is don't miss these sessions. Uh, it's not like a beginner session. You can start, stop. You can take your own pace. That's not an issue. But then when you're actually doing your advanced practices, please stay with the practice and make sure that you do your homework as well. So you have to have some self-practice, right? So we will uh, start ahead. Uh, just uh, Nilushi, just check whether uh, room is locked. No, right? Room is not locked. Okay, good. Right, so slowly come to Baddha Konasana. So from Vajrasana, don't just release your legs. Keep your hands down, take left leg forward up stay here count to nine knees straight slowly come down now release your right leg so just straighten your leg first up Maximum up possible. Take your legs down. Right. Now, a little bit of tap. So you may be feeling after Vajrasana, when you do that, a little coldness you can feel at the feet. Right. Okay. So slowly, right leg to the perineum. Put down. Left leg to the perineum. Put down. Now, so Baddha Kona Asana, so you try to keep your feet like this, fully like this, your knees will come up, right? So try to keep the legs like this, right? From the bottom only, it's touching, right? So then you can actually uh, keep the knees down, right? Practice it. Now, slowly take, interlock your hands and take the legs in as much as possible. Now do the movement up and down. Not little ups and downs, just do the maximum up you can go possible. It's actually opening your hips. Keep your body straight. If possible, try to keep your hands also straight. So, which means you have to lengthen your spine. Look straight. side to side, one side inhalation, other side exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. When you go to one side, try to hit the knee on the mat. Do nice inhalation, exhalation. Right, now again, take your legs in as much as possible. Try to touch the perineum. Then keep your hands here and then try to straighten your hands. So keep your hands on the knees. Now straighten your hands. How? By lengthening your spine. Now 
Lengthen the spine, push the knees down as much as possible. Stay here. No wall support. Now, slowly interlock your hands, hold your feet again, straighten the spine as much as possible. Now, what you do is you are going to inhale, you inhale, exhale, take the tummy in as much as possible, still the spine is erect, and then to this level you go down from the hip. And from here only you will curve down the spine and keep the head on the floor, right? Observe. So here, erect. Now take the stomach in. So inhale, exhale. Now go forward, go forward, go forward, go forward, go forward, go forward. Still the spine is straight. Then keep your head down. Come on, come on, everyone. Try, try, try. Interlock your hands and hold the toes and then go down. Inhale, exhale. Stay there. Observe the hip region, sides of the hip. Now take your head up. So neck is moved up. Look at the screen. Now again, spine straight. Now come up from the hip. So if you do the practice like that, your spine will not even feel it. Only your hip will feel it, right? So now again, take your legs forward, open. Feet forward and open. Like this. Now you can hold your whole uh, toe region or you can hold your big toes only. Right? But just for safety or just for easiness, we just hold the whole toes. Toes or the whole leg like this. Right. Okay. Now what you're going to do is again keep the spine straight. So inhale and exhale, we are going to take the forehead in between the legs, right? So again, just like the same, till you come to the maximum down point, your spine is straight. And then finally, you will touch the uh, forehead only by dropping your neck, right? Till then, don't just curve, don't go like this, right? So you are here, don't try to go like this. Don't go like this, okay? This is a spine, so basically you're straining the spine, right? So you're here, straighten the spine, straighten, right? So inhale, exhale, maximum you can go to, and then drop your head. Inhale, come up. Exhale, go forward, drop your head. Inhale, come up. Exhale. Inhale, come up. Exhale. Do the movement for nine times. So inhale, exhale. Continue the movement. So try to keep the spine straight. Maximum you can go, you go. And then you take your head down. Come up. Like that. So with the exhalation, take the tummy in. It makes it easier to go, right? In, inhale, exhale. Come out. Now stay there. Exhale, go there and stay. Mm-hmm. 
and come up. Again, come to Baddha Konasana. Again, come to Baddha Konasana. Legs in as much as possible. Stay there. Now see the Baddha Konasana is fully stretched. Now try to keep the feet like this. Now your feet is like a little bit like this. Now try to keep your feet flat. So how you keep it? So press the little fingers in and try to keep it like this. You can, if you want, you can hold it. You can lift the legs a little up, then it will open, right? So you need to take your awareness to the feet and try to open the feet while lifting, then it will open, right? So you interlock your hands, just try to lift it a little bit and then it will open. Right? Or else you can use your hands and open the feet like this for now. Right, take your right feet to the perineum. Left, interlock your hands and hold. Up, take the left foot to the chest. And you can, if you want, you can just hold it like this, right? Mm. With your elbow lock. Keep the spine straight. Don't come to the feet. Take the feet in. Right in the middle. Look at the spine. Spine is straight, right? Now take the toes to the chin region. Now toes to the forehead. Head is at the same place, head is at the same place. You only take the feet to the head. Now, sole at the top of your head. Now interlock your hands, keep the leg straight. The leg at the perineum. Spine straight. Now take a nice inhalation with the exhalation, head, knee to head. Head is at the same position. Knee to head, not head to knee, right? Observe. So you are here. Don't release the legs. Keep the spine straight. Don't release the legs. Spine straight, knee straight. Now inhale. Suck in the belly. Exhale. Other leg on the mat. Inhale, exhale, come down. Same way, right knee first at the chest. So you take keep the left at the perineum. 
right leg interlock spine straight inhale and exhale at the chest level first then you can hold it like this inhale exhale Deshika, take the big toe at the middle of the chest. Big toe has to be at the middle of the chest. Or the whole leg has to be the middle. Throat level. Now, toe at the forehead. Now, sole at the forehead. Straighten the leg, interlock your hands. This is something looks like crown chiasana, crown chiasana, but this is not crown chiasana, right? Spine straight, inhale, exhale, knee to forehead. Knee straight. Inhale, exhale, come down. Good. So a couple of knee stretches. So today we will be actually focusing at the spine region, right? So a couple of warm-up practices. So now come to slowly Virasana. So you know Virasana, feet are out, knees together. Then use elbow support and come to Supta Virasana. So when you go to Supta Virasana, keep the spine full length, right? Don't go that like this, right? Spine fully length, length up. And then slowly you keep the spine down. Hands on top of your head, stretch. Knees together. When you are in Supta Virasana, knees together, hands fully stretched. Slowly use your elbows, press your elbows to the mat and then hold your ankles and lift your body up come to seated position now from here stay in virasana stay in virasana now your bottom is down now straighten your left leg right now, bend your left leg, interlock your hands, one leg in Virasana, one leg interlock. Now, lift it up. Spine straight. This is Crown Chiasana, variation one. One leg Virasana. Other leg just hold like we held before. Spine straight. Feet, uh, feet also flat, toes pointing up. Inhale, exhale, head to knee. 
അത് നീ മേക്ക് ഷുവർ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഓൺ ദ ഫ്ലോ knee straight try to keep the knee straight head to knee feet flat keep the feet flat like this not like this like this feet flat slowly come down take the leg to virasana again now right leg release bend the knee bend the knee interlock straighten up try to keep the knee straight feet flat so if you want you can hold at the sole level then the leg will be automatically straight bottom so inhale and exhale knee to head other leg make sure it's on the floor inhale exhale so when you come to crown chayasana if there is a small misalignment in your hip it actually adjust you can hear a little sound like dug and it adjust right it's not a breaking don't worry okay so one more practice so take one leg left leg into virasana other leg in front at the perineum now right leg make it 90 degrees or with your body just make it to this side right so come here right leg fully open now open the right leg keep it here like a swastika now take the left leg to the other side so both legs try to take it to one line but initially it will be like a v but you day by day we try to take it to one line right so you take the left leg and then open and right leg is also open now open this leg also so the legs are like this now right hold there hold there so one leg here one leg the virasana leg backwards the other leg forward so try to maintain one line like a swastika yeah stay here so if you want you can keep your hand here and lock and you can keep your other hand here and lock right so actually when you straighten the legs in this position you will be in hanuman asana right so just maintain this and then try to push your legs back further so by end of the session try to make it one line here inhale exhale body straight slowly release so how you release right leg take in left leg take in from virasana easy right now same thing to the other side right leg to virasana left leg forward so 
first of all. So if you are comfortable here at this position, you can try to take your knee straight, right? At this position itself. Then, then you open the legs and you can slowly with your support of the feet, you can go back a little bit. And when you open your front leg, with the support of your feet, you can go back a little bit further. So you are in one line. Mats will go crazy, right? Try to stay in one line. So if you stay like this, the other way, like this, when you look from up, you are in a swastika. Open further, stay here, stay here. Maximum open. Slowly, left leg in, right leg in. Okay, so a couple of spinal practices. So we are going to learn three asanas today. Uh, so you might not be able to do the final pose. Don't worry about it. Important thing is you get the tutorial, you practice it, right? So like that, um, I have actually kind of figured out like 12 sequences that we can go. So certain sequences we will repeat, others you always have the uh, visual, so you go through, right? So come to downward dog. Try to keep the feet flat. You inhale, exhalation, try to take the head to the mat. So, and make sure that your feet are parallel and flat. So inhale, belly in, head to the mat. Inhale, belly in, head to the mat. Inhale, belly in, head to the mat. Stay here, 27 counts. Slowly come up a little bit, still in downward dog. Now take your right leg up, left leg is flat, right leg up, maximum. You can take the head to the mat. Now take your right leg bent and forward. Yeah, so when you keep the right leg forward, it should, I mean, initially if it's a little hard, you keep it like this and sit on the feet. Sit on the feet, right? Otherwise, you can use a block. So, right leg, yeah. You can use a block under and sit on the block. Jantan, use the block, sit on the block. So your block is here. Right? If, you, if it's possible for you to bring the body down, you take the right leg a little forward, 90 degrees. Body down, look forward, keep your hands on the side. Now bend back. Now 
Keep the hands at the hip level. Keep the hands at the hip. If you keep it here in front, you can't go back. If you keep it here, you can go back. Go forward, forehead on the floor in front of your legs. Come up. Now bend your left leg. Properly lengthened and bend your, oh, sorry, yeah, left leg. Bend the left leg. Lock the left leg at your elbow. Other hand up. <laughs> it's okay, Jantan. Observe. Don't worry. Yeah. Stay here. Very good, Dr. Nayana. Try, try, try. Take the leg to the elbow. Bend your leg to the elbow. Yes. Situli, bend the leg. Now, once you bend the leg, Take it, take it in at the elbow level. Now take the other hand up and hold it. Yeah, try, try, try. Release. Bend back. Bend forward. Take your left leg around. Release your right leg. Now keep your hands on the side in Dandasana. Keep your legs apart. Now inhale, take the chest forward and drop your body and relax. So inhale. Exhale, relax. Right, again, come back to downward dog. So this is called Eka Pada Raja Kapotasana. So when you do this bend, I'm pretty sure you may be feeling a very bad pain at, the, at your sides of the spine, right? It's because um, it, it has a still uh, stiffness a little bit, right? But when you do this practice after some time, you will not feel the spine, right? So you will only feel the uh, pain at the hip. After some time, the hip pain will also go away. You will get used to it, right? Right, so go to downward dog again. When you come to downward dog, so try somehow to take your head on the mat, keeping the feet flat, keeping the knees straight, keeping the elbows straight. Again, right leg up. Right leg bent forward. Now make sure that your two legs are in one line, right? So this leg can't be to this side. It's easier to keep it outside, right? But it's hard to keep it in. So it has to be in line with the sole of your right leg, in line, right? If the body is down, that's okay. If the body is up, you can keep a uh, block, right? Okay. Now, again, let's try the pose. So, bend your left leg. Now, hold it first. Now, slowly again, bend further. 
with your fingers you walk in the leg take the leg to the elbow level sit to be so first of all you hold the leg like this and then you walk down and hold it up hand lock 1 2 so look front 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 release the hands now whoever possible hold the big toe or hold the leg under the or hold the feet under the feet right like this under then take in twist your elbow go to the final head down the leg Yeah, twist the elbow. So elbow twist, you hold it like this, bend the elbow, take the elbow around. The other way. Okay. Good. Lean forward. Come back, release the left. Now release the right. So relax a little bit. So that is the final position of the Ekapada Raja Kapotasana. So doing this asana will give you mobility for so many other asanas like Purna Dhanurasana, Nadarajasana. So there are a couple of asanas which has the same leg twist, but in different, different positions, right? So it will give you a lot of mobility. All right, come back to downward dog again, because we have another leg left. Left leg up. If possible, head down. Bend the left leg, take it in front. Keep it in front of you. Keep your hands on the side. Now, bend back. Bend forward. Observe the spine. If you want, you can keep the eyes closed. Observe the spine. When you bend back, what happens? Inhale again, bend back. Now bend your right leg. Hold it with the right hand first. Then with your fingertips, you walk down the leg. Then the leg will come to your elbow. Then hold it. Look forward. Happy smiles. Come down. Bend back. Bend forward.
Yeah, you can release the asana and bend forward. Bend forward to the leg. Inhale, come up. Bend back. Now, bend your right leg. Now, hold under the feet. Twist the elbow up. Body fully straight, looking forward. And then take the other hand up. Hold the feet. Now, head to toe. Exhale. Inhale, come back. Release your leg, hands. Bend back. Bend forward. Now, slowly take your left leg behind and lie down on your stomach. Keep the hands on the side, legs apart. Just lie down. So it's possible, keep your legs apart, toes facing outward, and then cross your hands in front of you and rest the head to one side. Makarasana. And since we have the flexibility a little bit, let's try one more asana. This is called Ekapada Dhanurasana, right? One leg bow. Observe, so you take your feet together. It's an easy asana, right? But you need that leg and spinal flexibility, right? So how you do it is, you're here, Toes tucked. Come back a little bit. Mm. Spine is like a bujangasana. Bend your left knee. Hold your left leg. Now from your hip, lift the left leg, right? From your hip, lift the left leg. Twist the hand and take the leg to your head. Release. Ekapada Dhanurasana. Jantan, take it slow. Right? Don't do it. Others, you can. Yeah. So, again, Ekapada Dhanurasana. So, if you, if you find it difficult to lift your leg like this. Right? So, leg has to lift, lift from the hip. Try this. If you want to keep a block. Mm. Let it keep lifted. Now bend. Hold under the feet. Twist the elbow up. Uh, Dr. Nayana. This holding with the toe would not be enough, right? So you have the leg like this. You take the hand under. 
hold under. Take the leg in, twist the elbow up. Now take the leg to your head. Release. Down, stay in Makarasana. Okay. So, same twist. See? Easiest way to do that twist is through Ekapadraja Kapotasana when you are sitting, right? Then you can do it lying down. And when you do the same thing when you are standing, that's called Nataraja Asana, the Lord of the uh, Lord's Dance Pose. Right. Okay. So we lie down again because we have the leg left. Okay, now we have the, which leg is left? Right leg or left leg? I can't remember. Okay, I think it's the right leg. Yeah, okay. So, again, you lift up a little bit. Right hand under the right foot. See again, see, get this one correct, right? So you have your feet like this. If you try to hold your toes, and again, you can do the twist, but it will be very painful. You can't take your head to your, you can't take your leg to your head by this uh, holding, right? It will just come away. So what you do is you have your leg like this, right? Keep your leg like this. Not pointed up, yeah. Okay. Hand, palm facing up. Right hand, palm facing up. Now take your hand here, still palm facing up. Take the leg a little closer. Keep the hand under. Hold your big toe and the other side of the leg. See, other side of the leg. Yeah, from, from big toe. So this side you need to hold, this side. See, you're here and the toe is there. Walk, walk, walk like a small spider and then hold, right? Right, now other hand is steady, okay? Now lift your leg from the hips. Now do the twist. Now take the leg to the head. If possible, take both hands. Release. Makrasana, legs apart, hands crossed. Relax. So, same thing when you do standing. 
right? This is called the Nataraja Asana. So, same thing, come to the standing position, slowly come to the standing position. So, you know the Natarajasana, so we take right leg up and hold it. And then we take our left hand forward. This is Natarajasana and look forward. Come to Natarajasana. So take your leg up, just hold it. And other hand in Chin Mudra, you bend down, taking your leg up. Right. Now, second step, you lock the leg at the elbow. And then come down. The first practice, what we did, standing. Come down. Yeah, try, try, try. So you can use the other hand actually to lock the leg. Right? So take some wall support if you want, take some wall support, and then bend the leg, use the other hand to hold. Now lock at the elbow. Now take it up and lock up. So bend the leg first. Everybody bend the leg, only bending the leg. Take the bent leg in as much as possible. Now walk down, walk down the bent leg like a spider. Okay, so now walk down like a spider to a level where your elbow will touch the feet. Mm. Otherwise, if you are flexible enough a little bit, so you can hold with your other hand and then properly place it. Then come up, take the other hand, lock it. So that's okay. So you try the Ekapa, the Raja Kapotasana, all these things will come. Then final pose, I'm just, I will just show you so you can practice, right? So, so this is the Nadarajasana. What we did are all preparatory practices for Nadarajasana. You don't call it Nadarajasana, right? So you take your leg, again, arm under the leg, like this. Now lift your hip. Now twist your hand. Now lift further. Now hold with your both hands. If possible, bring the leg to your head. Try, try, try. So Ekapad Raja Kapotasana is number one. Then Ekapad Danurasana is number two. Once you excel these two, you can do this asana, right? Same way to the left leg. First of all, just Nadarajasana. Right. 
balance. Then holding the leg, walk down the spider or else you hold the leg and then lock it. Then you take it up and lock and bend back, bend forward a little. Come down. Final pose, maximum bend, the Nadarajasana. Stay here, Tadasana. Left leg bent, hold it under the feet. Ah, yes. Matura screen, yeah, under the screen. Right. Now come up, twist. And then take your other hand. And if possible, touch your head. And bend. All right. Okay, that's enough for today. So come to seated position. Out of the Padmasana, Padmasana. Since we did too much of backward bends, we should complement it with a little forward bend. So come to Ardha Padmasana or Padmasana. Yoga Mudrasana. Interlock your hands. Stretch the spine, spine curved or spine erect. Inhale. Exhale, suck in the tummy, forehead on the floor. Inhale, again come to Baddha Konasana, now Baddha Konasana has to be like nothing, like easy with all the stretches, right? Now again interlock your hands. Otherwise, what you do is you lean forward and then when your head is down, you interlock your hands. If this is too hard, right? So sometimes it's a little hard. So you stay here and then go down. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, come up. Leg straight. Paschimottasana. Hold your big toes. If you want, you can bend your knees. Bend your knees. Hold your big toes. Now, straight, lengthen the spine. Spine straight. Straight, straight, straight. Deshika, you should sleep on the floor for seven nights. Everybody sleep on the floor at least three nights a week, right? At least, otherwise your spine will be like this, 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 and you will go hunched, right? Keep it like this. One leg straight, 
other leg straight till the spine is straight. Go forward, look forward, look forward, elbow on the floor. Now head on the knees. Inhale, come up. Spine straight, look forward. Inhale, release your hands. Stretch the whole body upward. Exhale. Now, elbows on the mat. Lie down, elbows on the mat. Just relax position, elbows on the mat. Mathura, elbow on the mat. Just come up. We're going to do Matsyasana. So inhale, curve up the body and keep the head on the mat. Do a little adjustment. Maximum curve. Keep your hands on the thighs. Ardha Matsyasana. Half fish pose. Again, press the elbows, come up, slowly release the elbow one by one, and hands on the side, legs apart, Shavasana, close your eyes, we will close the session from here, inhale, Sarve Bhavantu Sukinaha, Sarve Santu Niran Maya, Sarve Badrani Pashantu, Ma Kashi Dukra Bhagbave, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Slowly stay there. No need to come up. Just stay there. Lie down. Just lie down. Right? So, uh, we'll close the session from here. I'll stop the recording.